hello everyone in today's tutorial i'm going to teach you how you can make this simple home office design on blender so to make this home office design on blender let's open the blender app after opening the blender app select all these objects and delete them now go to add menu and add a mesh which is a plane surface after adding a plane surface go to the scale values and make the x-axis scale 9 and then make the y-axis scale 7 after this select this surface go to the edit more select this edge selector select this edge then press shift and select this edge then press e and then press z and extrude it along the z axis like this after this select this surface go to the modifier setting and then add a solidify modifier after adding the solidify modifier increase the thickness and then mark this even thickness option and apply the modifier settings after this select like this surface then go to the edit mode and in the edit mode press ctrl r to add the loop cut select this loop cut and place it right here once again press ctrl r to add another loop cut and place the loop cut right here once again press ctrl r and this time i will select this horizontal loop cut and place it here once again press ctrl r select the horizontal loop cut and place it here now select this face selector, select this face, press X and delete this face. Once again select this surface, press X and delete this face. So this surface will be used as window. Now once again go to object mode and now I'm going to import the furniture for the office. You can simply google sketchfab and from the sketchfab you can download all the office furniture and make sure to download glb file during downloading and in the blender app go to file then go to import and in the import select the glb file and you will find all the sketchfab downloads select the table and chair file then import it after importing it press s and scale it up like this once again press s and scale it up like this now select this rotate tab and rotate table and chair after rotating them select this move tab and move the table towards the wall like this and place it very close to the wall once again select this rotate tab and rotate it now select the move tab and move the table and adjust its location along x y and z axis after adjusting the location of table and chair i am going to import the sofa once again go to file menu and import the sofa which you have downloaded from the sketchfab after importing sofa press s and scale it down like this once again press s and scale it down like this now select this rotate tab and rotate it after this select this move tab and move the sofa to a proper location once again press s and scale it down after adjusting the location of sofa now it's time to import the table which we will place in front of sofa after importing table press s and scale it up like this now select this rotate tab and rotate it after rotating it select the move tab and move the table to a proper location once again press s and scale it down again move it then press s and then press z and increase the scale along the z axis like this after this i'm going to import office cabin after importing it press s and scale it down once again press s and scale it down like this now select the move tab and move it towards the wall and place it on the floor and adjust its location now it seems perfect after this i'm going to import some wall decoration things like i will import a clock and then i will import some wall pictures first import the clock then press s and scale it down then select this rotate tab and rotate the clock then select this move tab and move the clock on the wall once again press s and scale it down so clock is properly placed on the wall now i'm going to import some wall pictures after importing wall picture press s and scale them down like this after this once again press s and scale them down like this then select this move tab and move the pictures towards the wall and on a proper location on the wall 
and adjust the location of the wall pictures after adjusting the wall pictures on the wall now I'm going to import this window import the window glb file of sketchfab then press s and scale it down like this and move the window towards the location where we want to place it once again select this move tab and move it and then move it down now it's time to adjust its scales now press s and then press z and reduce the scale along the z axis after adjusting the scales of the window move it to a proper location and in the background view see also its position so it looks fine now i'm going to import a trash bin import the trash bin file and then move it down the table and adjust the position of the trash bin so trash bin is properly placed now i'm going to import flower vase for the office decoration import the flower vase file after importing the flower vase file move it to a proper location and then i will adjust its position along x y and z axis after adjusting the location of flower vase then press shift d to duplicate it and then press g and then press x to move it along the x axis now i'm going to import a port of potato chips so i can place it on this table go to the file and import the potato chips file after importing the bowl of potato chips press s and scale it up like this then select this move tab and move it to a proper location after this disable this overlay option you can see all the objects are properly placed now go to the shader view to see the effects you can see all the objects which i have downloaded from the sketchfab are already colored now i'm going to add color to wall and floor for this select this wall and floor enable this overlay option then go to the blender kit select the blender kit and in the blender kit select the material tab and in the material tab select this tiles option and in the tiles option you can see all the materials and you can simply apply it let's see i have selected this floor oak material click on this material to apply it and in the shader view you will see the effects you can see that material is applied to the floor and walls in this way you can make a simple office design on blender hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video show your reaction in the comment section and if you want our services connect us on the linkedin see you in the next video bye bye